This arithmetic reasoning practice test question for the ASVAB and PICAT says, two tanks are each partially filled with 60 gallons of water. Tank A is three-fourths full and tank B is half full. What is the maximum amount of water that can be held in both tanks together? So for a problem like this, I'm going to make a quick sketch to help me keep my work organized. Again, we have two tanks that are filled with water. And in each tank, there are 60 gallons of water. According to the problem, we know tank A is three-fourths full and tank B is half full. So what we're going to do is uh, write an equation uh, and then solve it such that we find the maximum capacity of both tanks together. So let's start with tank A. And what is the equation I'm going to write? Well, 60 gallons is equal to three-fourths of the maximum capacity of tank A. So that's going to be three-fourths times X, where X refers to the maximum capacity of tank A. So all I have to do is solve this equation for X. And to do that, I'm going to multiply both sides by 4 over 3 to clear that in front of uh, X. In doing so, this crosses out here and here, leaving me with X over here. Now let's go ahead and solve this via cross reduction. Write 60 as a fraction by placing it over 1. Then you could say 3 goes into 3 one time, 3 goes into 60 uh, 20 times. So this becomes 4 over 1, which is just 4, times 20 over 1, which is just 20. 4 times 20 is going to be 80. So we know the maximum capacity of tank A is going to be 80 gallons. That's the most water that it can hold. And we're going to do the same thing for tank B here. Again, 60 gallons is equal to one half of the maximum capacity of tank B. And again, I'm going to let that maximum capacity be X. To solve this one, all we have to do is solve for X, which means we're going to multiply both sides by 2 over 1. In doing so, this crosses out here and here, leaving with just X on this side. Again, 2 over 1 is the same thing as 2, so this becomes 2 times 60. 2 times 60 is 120. So the maximum capacity of tank B is 120 gallons. How much water can they hold together? Well, tank B can hold 120 gallons. Tank A can hold 80 gallons. Just add these together. You should be able to do that mentally. Both tanks together can hold B, 200 gallons of water. 